Hi, and thanks for tuning in. My name is Kevin, and I'm going to outline my proposal for an open online course to foster digital participation in our communities. If you think back to the early days of the web, most of us would go online to access the wealth of content that was becoming available. But the web also had a troublesome side, referred to as the digital divide. Many didn't have the skills or access to technology to go online. But libraries were in the forefront of addressing this critical problem. Libraries developed free technology spaces where anyone could go online. And they also developed free training courses to build the technological skills in our communities. And libraries also teach courses to help people become more critical consumers of information through information literacy classes. These efforts have been a remarkable success, but the nature of the web has been changing. With the rise of Web 2.0 and tools like blogs and wikis, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook, it all means that the web is no longer just about the consumption of information. We don't just go online and read anymore. Now we go online and produce things. We create, we interact, and we share. We write blogs using WordPress. We create encyclopedia entries in Wikipedia, and we make and share movies on YouTube to influence the political process or just to have fun. But this participation requires a new skill set, and those without it face a new digital divide, a participation divide. These skills are becoming critical for actively participating in emerging forms of work, entrepreneurship, scholarship, art, and citizenship. To challenge this participation divide, libraries need to again take the lead to build broader digital literacy skills in our communities. And these skills would include the following, to find, organize, and understand information, to evaluate it, analyze it, and question it, but also to create new kinds of information and knowledge, to remix existing information, to share it, to connect with others, to publish, to provide attribution to shared materials, and to manage their own online identities. One option could be for each library to go out and start creating their own separate digital literacy programs. But I'd like to propose a collaborative solution, bringing together academic libraries, school libraries, and public libraries from Vancouver, the Lower Mainland, BC, across Canada, and around the world. I propose that we work together to build a MOOC. A MOOC is a massive, open, online course. It's massive because they can involve thousands of learners all at once. They're open because anyone can join at no cost. They're online because everything happens on the web, including live meetings. And they're a course because they have that kind of course-based structure. There are at least three different kinds of MOOCs, and I'm interested in different elements of all of them. The MOOCs currently getting a lot of press these days are from some of the major U.S. universities like Harvard, MIT, and Stanford, as well as private initiatives like Udacity and Coursera, shown here. The goal of these MOOCs is to teach some content, often in computer science. These are interesting because they're so big and they're free but they tend to rely on a traditional form of teaching, what Paulo Freire called a banking system of pedagogy, where experts transmit their wisdom into the empty minds of their students. I propose that we try something a little different. Another kind of MOOC are the network MOOCs. These are less focused on the content and more on facilitating learning through building connections between learners. The goal of these MOOCs, such as the University of Regina's ECNI 831, shown here, is to develop self-directed communities of learners. This is interesting because it's experimenting with new kinds of pedagogy, such as connectivism, where the connections built between participants in the course are even more important than the content. A third kind of MOOC are the project MOOCs. The goal here is to empower people to be creative, and to make things that interest them. These MOOCs, such as 
DS-106, are interesting because they challenge us to rethink what a course is, and they make us think about where the lines between teacher and student are blurred. Where students create their own assignment ideas for things to make. Including things as unexpected as an online radio station. So I'm asking you to think about working with me to create a digital literacy MOOC. One that will include important content, but also help students develop their own personal learning networks for lifelong learning and to build some really cool projects. It'll be a course that'll be collaborative between all kinds of libraries. It'll welcome learners from different kinds of libraries, but also welcome library staff to participate. We could invite businesses to send their employees. We could talk to continuing studies units at our universities to offer an optional credit for the course. The course will facilitate creativity and active participation, and will experiment with emerging pedagogies. If this sounds good to you, let's talk.